right, Intel, which we know is in a, a war against AMD and a bunch of, a bunch of other companies. You can say also NVIDIA is announcing it's unveiling a shift in its data center architecture and computing new products, one that they call the uh, biggest in a generation. So let's find out more about this. Let's bring in an exclusive Intel CEO, Patrick Gelsinger. So, Pat, you are making some pretty bold claims here that Intel is revolutionizing the product line. Tell us what it may mean for consumers and for the enterprise. Hey, thank you, and always a pleasure to be with you, Jim and Carl. And we made, you know, I say five major announcements uh, today. You know, we're introducing a new consumer and uh, PC architecture we call Alder Lake, which uses big and little cores for peak performance and power efficiency. We also introduced the major new data center architecture, our Sapphire Rapids, as I have one to show off to you here, which is based on four tiles, 56 cores, and using our advanced packaging and never seen before AI performance on a CPU. We also introduced our graphics architecture, where we're moving into the discrete graphics business, and we announced our brand for that called Intel Arc. We also released our high-end performance uh, capabilities for high-performance computing, Ponte Vecchio, a beast of a machine that's able to deliver the highest ever recorded AI and HPC benchmarks in history. So our friends over across the street there at NVIDIA, you know, we're uh, now posting the best numbers ever. And uh, we introduced a major new networking architecture we call our IPU as well. That's uh, Mount Evans that we're doing in collaboration with uh, one of the big cloud guys. So major announcements for the biggest architecture day that we've had in the decade. Okay, so Patrick, when I listen, I'm very conscious of the fact that you spent a lot of time in Washington uh, really trying to figure out exactly how we can get back to leadership position in uh, foundries. Intel have always been the best in terms of making its own. We know that. Uh, when I see this architecture, I wonder, is this something that you can do at your own foundries or is this something you have to uh, outsource? And if you have to, then do you have to wait in line? Well, what we've done is, and you know, as we announced earlier this year, back in March, what we call IDM 2.0. And with IDM 2.0, we say we're going to build most of our products on our own package and process technologies, but we're also going to use foundries, and we're also going to become a foundry. And with that, uh, as we show here with Sapphire Rapids, this is on Intel, and we're using our factories for these, but also the Ponte Vecchio, our high-end graphics, we're leveraging TSMC. We're also taking advantage of TSMC in other areas of our product line, as well as some of the other foundries. And we're also opening ourselves up to be a foundry for the industry. And this has been the center of, uh, you know, a lot of interest. You know, we announced that Qualcomm and Amazon are some of our early customers there. And as you've seen with uh, U.S. government efforts around the CHIPS Act, that we're going to build a lot of those factory capacities on U.S. soil with U.S. engineering and IP to help establish what I've called a more globally balanced and resilient supply chain. So it really is a strategy that we're uniquely positioned to bring forward to the industry and bring a lot more of that back onto American soil. Well, it's vital, particularly because of Taiwan Semi and what's going on with the Chinese trying to be uh, saber rattling. Uh, uh, one more question that I I've got to be sure about. You mentioned NVIDIA. You brought that up. Jensen Wong famously has said that Moore's Law, they were speaking about Gordon Moore, founder of Intel, one of the founders, uh, is dead that it no longer uh, works and that what really matters are the, the cards that NVIDIA has, that they're much faster, much stronger, much more powerful. What do you say to the idea that Moore's Law is dead? Well, we as a company are committed to exhausting the periodic table and keeping Moore's Law alive and well. And I like to say, <laughs> hey, until every aspect of the periodic table has been uh, pursued and considered, Moore's Law ain't dead. What we're seeing in the announcements that we've made around our new process technologies, and we're now moving into what we've called the angstrom era, Jim, uh, Jim with our Intel 20A and Intel 18A process technology announcements. Moore's Law is alive and well, and we're the company that's going to keep it alive and well for decades into the future. And the roadmap that we've laid out, we feel very confident that we're going to continue through this decade and into the next by innovations in silicon and finding new physical properties and new ways to print lines smaller and faster and at lower power. And yeah, architecture is important, design is important, but process and packaging technology and some of the major advancements in 3D packaging that we're showing off with products like Sapphire Rapids that I showed today, wow, 
you know, these are going to keep us alive and well, not just at the 2D level, but at the 3D level. Moore's Law, alive and well. Intel's the company that's going to keep making that happen.